found it very easy to nip through the back streets of Richmond and it's very easy to park. It is incredible value for money in my opinion, makes much more sense than a CX-3 which is some $5,000 more for basically the same car, right? As a small car, I would recommend the Mazda 2 for sure. Personally, I would go for the manual as the auto seemed to lack a bit of grunt at times, and let's face it, small cars are usually more fun in manual anyway. Plus. It saves another $2,000 on the price meaning for under $15,000 you can have a brand new Mazda 2 with a 3 year warranty. That's pretty amazing really. Obviously, the infotainment is the big sacrifice you have to make on this model. It's very basic. But for someone like my mom, who just needs Bluetooth paired once and only listens to 3 or talks on the phone, this would actually be a really good car for her. I guess for the younger buyers the infotainment will be a drawback and potentially a showstopper. But apart from that, I would put a young first time driver in a Mazda 2 for sure. Perfect car for them in fact. The boot was big enough for some of the groceries and the cabin felt basic but good. Very familiar having driven a few Mazdas now, they all feel very similar. It drove nicely and it handled really well. And, well, it was red. Shame they are so common but I guess there is a good reason for that.